Hello everyone, Thunderbob here, and this morning I'm checking out Death Tales. This is a new game that literally uh, has just come out today, and uh, I'm gonna give this a try. Let's see if I get my PlayStation controller to function here. One of those days where nothing wants to work. And I think my controller. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I don't usually play this early, uh, but I woke up and my car is dead. So, yeah. Let's go with one player. So I don't have anyone here with me right now. I feel like the scrolling text looks a little odd where it just like breaks there. Okay, enter. Now let's see if this PlayStation remote works because the menu uh, buttons are a little weird. I'm always looking for a young woman. My wife did not hear that hopefully. Okay, seems to work. So, for me, square is jump, X is attack, that's another, circle is a other attack, right bumper brings up, like, your menu, so it looks like you get different hoods and armors and weapons. Oh. I might have to adjust these controls, they don't seem quite optimized for the PlayStation controller I'm using, but... Nope, no, I don't want to go back. Cancel. Okay, you just hit the bumper again. I do, right off the bat, like the graphics. It reminds me a lot of, um... Gosh, what game is it? There was a Wii game. I know that's, that's digging pretty deep. But, um, there was this Wii game from a Japanese developer that was like, you were a samurai girl, and like, the backgrounds and everything were really dynamic, and they moved around, and it was a really beautiful game. Like, Matsumi... Thing. Uh, I own it. I'll go look at the, the box at some point. Ow. These guys have a lot of health. So it seems like I've got four health, five health bubbles, and they drop stuff that regenerates it. And I don't have a lot of time to play, I'm literally waiting for roadside assistance to get here. I think it's a dead battery, but my jumper cables uh, are not long enough when I'm in the garage for my wife's car to turn around to reach my car. So if you hit that like a couple times, it almost like locks you into the animation. I wish you could break that animation a little better. Like I can't seem to get any other... Uh, activity once I enter like a combo, but that might be intentional, like you have to commit to your attack. These enemies seem to have a lot of health. I just noticed like there's like a box up there. It almost looks like a, like an unfinished texture or something that didn't load, I don't know if that is intentional or not. But other than that one box, the graphics are really nice. This. Oh, level complete. I feel like having a chance to spawn a fireball is cooler than the other two. So it seems like at the end of each level you get like some some kind of upgrade. Ok, 
Okay. So there's a couple of combos. Is it like an uppercut? A launch, yep. Okay, that's cool. I like launch games. Oh! That's cool. See, the problem is... Okay. Because my um, buttons are not... It's like a, rare, a ground pound. My buttons are not labeled the same as the screen. It's a little hard. I should hook up an Xbox controller, but... I just prefer the uh, PlayStation 4 usually. Oh, that's a dash, that's cool. Oh. Yeah, I didn't actually hit him, but okay. Any game with the dash is better in my in my book. So it's almost like a Mario 3 style like overworld. And then you go into the level. Okay, now that I have that dash, like that that's much easier to beat them. I still feel like the texture work, I'm not sure if that's that really a texture, but like the ground texture there just looks so incongruous with the, like, everything else looks pretty good. But I feel like that, uh, see I tried to dash there, but I was locked into the animation, so like, you really like commit to the animation. That's a little easier knowing I have a dash and uh I think I was using the dash as my main attack before. Well that's a little weird. So I jump. Oh, okay, he grabs on. It just looked a little weird at first. I dash. I wish that dash would let you break out of animations. That's like the biggest problem. So I'm like attacking and then I can't dash so like that, that run of animation is completely done. And the attack is just a little too slow. Especially when you do like the three of them in a row. I think it was Muramasa was the Wii game I was thinking of. I don't think I ever beat it, but I just remember the visuals were very striking, especially for a Wii game at the time. Like, Wii was, you know, like, way weaker than the 360 or the um, PlayStation 4, but that game had a particularly nice style to it. Ow. Now the thing's up there. How do we get up there? I'm probably gonna play like another level because uh, I think that guy is supposed to be here pretty soon. Oh, did I miss out on that? I probably needed to dash across and then jump or something. And also, uh, probably the more recent comparison might be like Ori. Uh, I didn't actually play that. I 
because it's one of those games like I keep meaning to go back to. Um, but the kind of motion, uh, everything moving in the background, and like these really lush, colorful settings, that's probably a more apt comparison. But it's got its own style, it's got kind of like this Reaper death vibe to it, like they have like Witch Doctor, not Witch Doctor, uh, Plague Doctor masks on and stuff. So like it seems like you can't I didn't I just noticed the face on the moon. I'm like oblivious here. That's that's pretty cool. It's been a long morning already and I haven't even gotten to work. I don't think I ever saw a fireball. I guess more health. Eh. Almost feels like a Tim Tim Burton kind of uh, vibe to it. Like this could totally be a soundtrack from uh, uh, was the guy from Oingo Boingo who does all of all of his uh, movies. Okay. Oop. Oh, okay. Right trigger. I get like a fireball. Okay. I wonder if I get like choices to go, or maybe if I would have gotten that other box, I would have gone. Nope. Oh. Okay. So there's like branching pathways, that's kind of nice. curious, like, is there, I know there's like unlockables and stuff, maybe you get different unlockables depending on where you go. Oh, and you can just bypass, okay, that's interesting. Curious what this symbol is. It's a frog. I really, really like the style. I feel like I need to get used to the controls. And I cannot seem to like, that fireball will not go any lower than that. I don't know if that's an issue with my PlayStation controller or if it's only meant to get like diagonal attacks. Seems like that wouldn't be right, but. I was just checking if maybe my mouse controlled it in some manner. Ah, uh, go through them. Kind of like you just point the right stick in a direction and it attacks, but I can't. It doesn't want to aim downwards. Oh, okay. If I hold the left bumper, then it like goes downwards. It's. I don't know. It feels a little weird. I feel like I'm not quite getting something on that. So you can't, like, just fire it straight, it seems. Oh, 
Oh! I did not mean to do that. I think after this level, I definitely have to go. Uh, he's supposed to be here any minute, and I don't want to have to, like, run out the door and catch him, so. Final thoughts. Uh, I really love the style and the graphics. I feel like I need to get a little bit better grasp on the controls. Like, I'm not sure if it's not quite optimized for the PlayStation controller. Uh, particularly, like, firing the fireballs feels a little weird. Uh, I can't make it go straight. I'm not sure, again, if that's a limitation on using this controller or if that's intended. Um, but now that I know, like, the dash, the jump, the main attack, the combos, it's, it's, it's confident. Um, like... Is it the most technical uh, one of these type of games? No, you know, this isn't like um, Hades or... Oh god. Okay, I made it. Um... Oh, that's a lot of guys. But uh, it, it's a fun game. Uh, again, I've only spent a few minutes in this. I'll try to jump back in maybe this evening or this weekend. Uh, give you a better idea of what I what I like and what I don't like, but this initial impression is fun. If you like these type of games, this just came out today on Steam. Um, really cool style, really great music. Uh, the gameplay is fun. There's some depth to it between the the dodging and the the uh, multiple type of attacks, and it seems like just looking at this, you're going to get different weapons. Um, you're going to get different armors and stuff. Oh, you know what I didn't do. I wonder if I can... That's why I wasn't doing the fireballs, I didn't... It should auto-equip. That would make sense. Alright, I gotta see if I can make that happen. I'm not sure if I'm causing those fireballs or he is. But there are, it seems like, different types of weapons, or at least upgraded versions of the weapons. So there's a certain amount of depth as far as like being able to pick your weapon and your armor. Uh, I'm not sure if there's like an upgrade tree. I didn't see one, but uh, maybe that's done like through your weapons more or less. And I also, oh, there's a fireball. I don't think this is like a roguelike. I'm pretty sure that this is more just a platformer. I don't think if I die... Well, I did die that one time. You don't start over or anything. So it's not it's like one of those endless running, procedurally generated type of games. It's more of a traditional platformer. Which, you know, we need more of those. There's roguelikes I enjoy, but I need some old school platforming too. Oh, okay, there's that fireball going off. I should have equipped that earlier. And you look pretty awesome with the fire... The fire breathing scythe. Okay, so you. Oh! I was gonna say you can jump and then dash, but uh, he didn't grip when he did that. Alright, I gotta go, because the guy's gonna be here in like five minutes. So, last thoughts. Uh, it's a cool game. I don't have enough time here to really, you know, tell you you should buy this, but if these are your type of games. You know, give it a try. Um, you know, you get your return window if you don't enjoy it. Uh, if you give it a try. Um, but thank you again for watching, and have a great day, everyone.